It's so wonderful to be here. I used to tour with, with uh, Conway Twitty. Yes. I used to live with Johnny Cash. I have, not, I have not been in this part of the world since before Brooks met Dunn. And I, <laughs> I'm so delighted to be here, and I loved your monologue. It's oh, so thank wonderful you. to hear good common sense, isn't it? Well, thank you. Nice. Thank you. Oh, so refreshing, because... I've spent quite a bit of time out in an area where, you know, that's in short supply. We've heard that. Yes. We have. Yes. But, you know, one of the things that I think people love about you, you're the ultimate Renaissance man, actor, songwriter, singer, performer, author. Is there anything well, you can't do? Apparently dance. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you did pretty well. You went, what, seven weeks? I went seven weeks. That was, it was so much fun, and it was so hard. I lost 26 pounds. My God. Doing that, and uh, Emma was, was wonderful and awful at the same time. <laughs> People say, what was Dancing with the Stars like? And I say, it's a lot like, like hot yoga. <laughs> <laughs> you think maybe this time you're going to make it through and you just can't wait for it to be over. And they introduced me as a country singer there as well because I'd had a bunch of hits uh -huh. way back in the 80s. And it was You had four a great number way. ones, right? I mean, I did, four number one songs. Huge. Yeah. Time. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Huge. Yeah. Ours, the president, would say, huge. 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 It was huge. Yes. Well, oh I want to ask you about how it feels to realize that Dukes of Hazard, this show that some people thought would never work, <laughs> but it was a just blockbuster success. And after the seasons ended, it's been 30, almost 35 years, not quite, but almost. And since it ended, yeah, 40 since we started. People are still watching Dukes of Hazard because it is a timeless story of wholesome life in the South. And you yes. don't see that very much anymore. No, and, and the great thing about Dukes is that people would watch it together as a family. Yeah. So when people talk to me about Dukes, they don't necessarily talk about episodes that they liked, but they talk about they were sitting on the couch with their grandma or their grandpa, they're eating popcorn on a TV tray. They have wonderful memories of the experience of Friday nights at 8 o'clock. And that's quite wonderful, because actually the only place you can see Dukes of Hazard now, because the world has lost its mind, yes. is on, is on uh, Amazon Prime. We're kind of the victims of collateral damage and a certain amount of, you know, revisionist history. And st I'm from New York, so I mean, my gosh, it's revisionist history, it's intentional stupidity, it's how people want to be upset collectively about something. You know, and I... I was raised to believe that if, if, if in a week's time you hadn't offended somebody, you probably hadn't said anything. <laughs> right? Uh, and and uh, yeah, so I'm, I'm just kind of in a, uh, it's a mystery to me how things have gotten where they are. That's why I am so delighted to be here. Well, thank you. And, and we're delighted to have you. And I want to kind of fast forward from Dukes okay. of Hazard because, I mean, it's, it's never been that John Schneider just sort of had this one moment in entertainment and that was it. I mean, it's been music, it has been performance and acting and so many different things, but you've got this huge project. And, and again, it really is a big one, the Odyssey that you're doing. The Odyssey Project, yes. I, explain what that is. Um, the Odyssey Project uh, is a 52 song project. We released one song every Tuesday of 2018. <laughs> Uh, because we wanted people to get used to John Schneider, the singer, again. Mm. But the, the, origin, the origins of the Odyssey are really cool because uh, I used to record here in Nashville. I came to some of the greatest songwriters in town and said simply, I don't want to hear the song you think is a song that belongs on radio. I want to hear that song, Paul Overstreet, Chuck Cannon, mm. uh, Whispering Bill Anderson. I want to hear that song that as soon as you wrote it, you were sure it was a smash, but for some reason that you don't understand, no one has cut it yet. Hmm. So I want the favorite song of the greatest songwriters in the world, and that's what I want to hear. And we got the, the group of the most wonderful songs that came because every songwriter has that mystery song. Yeah. How come I'm the only one that thinks this is great? So they're really quite wonderful. I'm very, very proud of it. And uh, you can get that, by the way, we're completely independent, we're independently produced, we're independently financed, we are all in. So if you would like to listen to some of this music, please go to johnschneiderstudios.com or get my app. It's free and it will take you there. You can kick the tires and sample the music and if you like it, please, please, please purchase it and share it with your friends. Let them know that 
this is your new favorite song, maybe. And I think uh, people are going to love it. I hope you'll get your copy of John Schneider's CD, The Odyssey. You can get it at your favorite online music retailers at johnschneiderstudios.com. And as he said, on the John Schneider app. By the way, um, stay tuned because John's going to be coming back to perform. And he is so cool. This guy is absolutely cool enough to let me sit in on bass when we do that song. Wouldn't have it any other way. You can also see his exclusive performance of Like a River. And that's going to be a bonus special. That's only on Huckabee.tv. Another opportunity to see John Schneider.